This breaks my heart. This is strangling our sport, blade by blade, log by log. How much wood could a wood chop chop if a wood chop could chop wood? Well, if you're a professional wood chopper in Victoria, you won't be chopping any wood. You've been given the axe. This is a tragedy for our sport. It's the sport that's thrilled us at country and city shows, and it's been part of the Aussie spirit since the 1870s. They've chopped their way to the top of the tree, hundreds of wood chopping titles between them. Dad, Brad Meyer, third generation. Son, Kyle, fourth. Do you think there's a chance you may not be able to chop professionally again? Well, if that's the case in Victoria, I'm just going to head to another state, compete there. You'll take off? I will. Hundreds of wood choppers are caught up in a conservation dispute, a Victorian Supreme Court order effectively halting logging across the state because of concerns for these guys, the Leadbeater Possum and the Greater Glider. Can't you use any other wood? We've tried plantation timber and it's just not suitable for, for the competitions that we run. Why is that? Too many knots and limbs and it grows with too many defects, so it just damages our axis. How is this affecting you? Uh, it's affecting big, in a big way. Um, we love our wood chopping and I've been doing it since I was eight. Affecting Brad's business too, he has a contract with Vic Forests, an arm of the Victorian government, to harvest trees. But what does it do to you financially? Financially, we have uh, all our workers sitting at home being paid as stand down. So it's pretty devastating financially? It's devastating for everybody in the industry. Devastating too for these workers. The timber shortage has cost them their jobs at the Maryvale paper mill in Victoria's Latrobe Valley. The mill was the last producer of white paper in Australia. My dad retired here with 41 years of service. My granddad worked here for a number of years as well, so I'm, I'm third generation. When you got the job here, you, you seem seeing this as a job to, into retirement. Well, I think it's ridiculous. I mean, the amount of logs that we need to run our shows is minuscule in, in the scope of things. So, you know, let us at least get the timber we need to run our country shows. Now, Brad, you're going to conquer this pole behind you. I sure am. How long is it going to take you? Uh, approximately about three minutes. Brad, head of the Victorian Axman's Council, normally pulls a big crowd, but today is just yours truly and a couple of disinterested cows. The flash of the razor-sharp axe, the power, the technique. It's exacting and exciting and exhausting, and the very reason crowds flock to our city and country shows. Not to be picky, Brad. That was four minutes. Yeah, well, I'm just starting to warm up. How long do you think it'll take you? Probably a weekend. <laughs> Is that all right? It probably would. <laughs> Brad says if there's no Alpine ash logs in the next month, there'll be no wood chopping at this year's Melbourne Royal Show. Brad Jenkins is the CEO. Wood chopping's not only just in jeopardy in the Melbourne Royal Show, it's jeopardy right around Victoria. Why should people care if there's no wood chopping? Well, it's an iconic sport. It's part of our heritage. This is, this is part, of, part of how Victoria began in the early days where they were cutting down trees, making log cabins and starting to, to build Victoria. What hurts you most about this? It's the kids. We've got a great group of young kids. They're heartbroken. They want to compete like their fathers and their uncles and their grandfathers. This problem is slowly spreading all over Australia. And why is that? Because they're all having the same trouble trying to source the timber to run these shows. Well, look, we're in uh, discussions with the Victorian Axemen's Council and the advice we're receiving at the moment, it's certainly in jeopardy. Uh, we remain hopeful it'll be part of the show. What does wood chopping mean to you? Well, well, as you've seen today, it's pretty much our whole life, my family's life. That's what we love and that's what we do. It's who we are. Let's see how good you are, Dad. Right, well, let's give it a go. We'll see who wins. You count on me. You. Right, oh. One, two, three. You're losing it, Dad. <sighs> it must be. Aren't they terrific? And we cannot lose the wood chopping. The Royal Melbourne Show is in late September and they better find a solution.